this is our catapult, and me, Zach, and Jack made it. We chose to do a catapult because we thought it would be pretty cool, and we thought it would demonstrate the forces of motion well. Um, how does a catapult work? Well, you pull it back, and the rubber bands um, force the arm forward, and this little arm here thing stops it, and it causes the marshmallow to stay at an arc so it goes farther. And this stops it from flipping over. And this is just some added weight, so it doesn't flip. How does it use elastic energy? It uses elastic energy because when you pull it back, the rubber bands will stretch. And then once you let go, the rubber bands will launch the projectile, or in our case, marshmallows, in the direction. Um, it uses kinetic energy by, like, when you pull back the rubber bands and you let go, the elastic energy is created into kinetic energy, which brings the arm forward and then throws the marshmallow. How does the catapult use potential energy? Well, it's got most potential energy right here when the elastic potential energy <coughs> because the rubber bands are fully extended and it's the most distance to go. Our materials we use, we use popsicle sticks for the base and to stop it. We use duct tape for connecting all the other pieces. Plastic wheels, just so it, just to make it like a better design, I guess. Uh, rubber rubber bands to keep the, keep the arm just for launching forward. And then paper clips to hold the rubber band back, uh, back here so the rubber band wouldn't keep sliding up and down on the arm. Uh, we did uh, three launches and tested how far it could go. The first time we got 5.5 meters with a hang time of 0.71 seconds. The second launch we got 4.5 meters with a hang time of 0.65 seconds. And then the third launch we got 5.25 meters with a hang time of 7.2 seconds. We also kind of rounded the distance because we didn't go to exact detail.